Kavya. I'm from Santiago Robotics. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate a project that was done as part of our summer program. We have our co-founder Mr. Shravan Kumar and uh, here's our student Mr. Kwani. He is uh, studying in ECE in MIT, Manipal Institute of Technology. He finished his first year, he starts in the second year. Thank you, Nadia. So we would like to demonstrate uh, the, the summer project that uh, Mr. Funny has done. Uh, here is a concept of a work cell, an industrial work cell. We simulated this concept uh, to get uh, uh, you know, expert knowledge uh, from industrial setting to educational setting. So Funny, do you want to explain a little bit of uh, how you have used uh, you know, Bookwart 1 and Bookwart 2 and this kind of, you know, kind of system? Hi, I am Funny. I am studying in MIT, EC and second year. Uh, I have created an uh, industrial uh, work cell uh, using two robots and a camera. Funny, I think you know what you know what we have there is uh, a pallet, right? Yes, you know, sir. industrial uh, to simulate industrial setting. We created some pallets. Yes. So please uh, say what happens in this scenario. So first, robot one will pick up each of those pallets and place them on the conveyor. Then the conveyor starts and as soon as the pellet comes into the frame, yes. uh, the location is uh, localized and the uh, coordinates are sent to the second robot. Yes. The second robot then picks up from the conveyor and places them on the table. So it's called mapping. So so the concept here, you know, the students are learning is called localization and mapping. So the, once the camera understands the pellets are underneath, you know, it localizes and sends that mapping information back to the robot too, so that it uh, performs the, uh, you know, specific task. So I think if you can execute you know, and show our viewers you know, what happens, that would be great. Yes. So now I will be initializing the first robot and the conveyor. And then initialize the second robot. So that it picks up each of the pellets and place them on the conveyor. So as soon as the pellet goes into the frame, the conveyor freezes, and then uh, the second, uh, the first robot picks up the pellet and places them on the thing, and this process continues. So all the objects that you're seeing here, you know, the chicks, the pallets, the sand, base, everything is 3D printing. And we adopted 3D printing as a manufacturing technology. And, uh, you know, a lot of complexity has gone into understanding this as well. So for example, the robot taking pallets from the jig, uh, they are in a 3 by 3 jig. And the exit itself is a complex uh, program. And then, now so those things are carried forward on this conveyor and localization mapping and mapping is happening. So as you can see in the video. Thank you Mani for demonstrating the application. 
Thank you all for watching our video. Please, for more videos, please subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel. We have a simple robotics. Uh, we have done more videos on industry 4.0 sector that includes advanced robotics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, computer vision, and 3D printing.